Oh yeah, quite a bit of hair coming off with this brush. Not high. Oh boy, the boys just came to me while I was milking and said the sheep are out. Do not run out there! Oh boy. Ah, shoot. Okay, good. They're wanting to run back down. Okay, good. There's only two out. Three. Okay, I got a plan. The ends are right here. Did y'all turn off the fence and not turn it back on? We had one. They might have gotten out right there. I don't want to go down there and turn it off because we'll scare them. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to open this gate right here and bring it out. And you're going to go around behind them and bring them this way. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do it without getting zapped. All right, go go turn the fence off now that they're gone. They're not going to go anywhere. The three, they're out, the, there's more in than out. It looks like they forced their way through the bottom. Don't let the three out, though. No. Oh! <laughs> Right back into that fence. Did you get zapped? No. Jonah had a good idea to get the bucket to draw them close, but... Hey, Jonah, wait. Jonah, wait. The bucket. Wait, you might draw these ones out. Okay, go around behind them, just Josiah. You gotta go further. Here they come. Here they come. They'll figure it out. Come on. You're doing it. You're doing a good job, Josiah. They're figuring it out. There you go, Jonah. Oh, Woo! <laughs> This is our weak spot, I think. Could y'all fold this in and then string trim where it's gonna be? Could you do like that? Could you fold that in and then string trim where it's gonna be? Is this part? Yeah. Like that. like that. Like that. And then you string trim it without hitting the fence. And then you put it back. Okay. You, do do you think you could do that? Yeah. You could go down that side too. And so say, hey, Jonah, after you do it, then put it right back. A gallon and a half today, Becky. She's not suffering for giving milk. She's got a hundred point three, so no temperature. Yeah. What's this? This is the goat dredge. Goat. Sheep. Goats have devil eyes. <laughs> this is the sheep dredge. Okay. Drench. All right. So, so what are we gonna do about Lila, honey? Okay. I found a free choice mineral that has copper in it. That's for cows that like aren't shedding their hair. Okay. So they're or they're shedding it slowly. Okay. Because there's, do we have fescue, hey? Do we have fescue out? Yes, in all the over the place. Okay, so there's something called fescue toxic toxicity with mm. cattle. And it, and it makes them not, it, like all the fescue makes their copper go down. So because we didn't have that copper mineral out there, mm. then she's, We're behind. yeah. This is a more concentrated copper mix? It is. Okay. Now what are you making here? So this is the, the sheep drench. It's and that's just in case they have parasites. Yeah, which we suspect that they probably do have some parasites. So when we looked at their eyelids, they looked a little pale, and that's a sign. Yeah. So we're just gonna do this. We have to do this while we can still get them in the stall. Hopefully we can get them in the stall, but we're about to go away from the stall. We're gonna hopefully build a shade mobile today and start moving them around, eventually get them over in the farmhouse yard to mow. Molasses, garlic powder, and warm water. We have to open up the, the electric fences over the stall. Okay. So we need to go open, move that and open the stall yeah. and then herd them in. Come on, let's open the gate. We got the fence out of the way now, open the door. Put a, put a rock or something there so that it doesn't uh, come back on. There you go. Go around, go around, don't scare them, and turn on your fence. Now walk slowly, hurt them. Wow, it doesn't take much. Hopefully they'll go in. Wait, go slow. We, what we don't want to do is make them charge the fence. Go around, Josiah. Yep, you just stay there. Nope, back up, back up, back up. Okay. All right, come in a little closer. All right, Jonah, stop. Let Josiah run him a little bit. There we go. 
Just uh, go to the right a little more. Go more towards the fence. There you go. Okay, come towards him a little bit, just uh, Jonah, stop. <laughs> don't hit him or anything. It doesn't you don't have to tap him. Jonah, do you think they would follow your uh Alright, just let him go, just let him go. Now don't get in that jump back and forth game with him. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good job. We did it! <laughs> so I guess the plan is I'll catch one, you'll drench it. And then we'll put it out. Yes. Okay, where are you people gonna go? We're just going to be in there with you. They're a lot more gentle these days. Relax it. Last two, they were done. Send them out. Well, guys, just let, let's let them come out on their own time. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they jump. She's not breathing hard, which is good. No, I'm she, wondering if the extra no, protein helped her. So it was like the um, I still think they should get that that free choice God, mineral. Like the sheep have had enough excitement for today. Yes. Let's go. All right, garden bed, I'm coming for ya. Just, just let me get my twine and my stakes to mark you out. Measure 42 inches from that stake over, Jenna. And then let's put a stake. Right there, it's good. And then go two more feet. <whistles> two feet from here and we'll have our path. I've got my twine up now. Jonah, we're gonna do cucumbers. They're spaced every foot, two in a row. So since they're so close, it's probably easier just to dig a trench. You gotta get a little closer to the string. It's there for your marking. There you go. You got this? I'll get the other shovel. Where? Jonah said it was by the tractor. I don't see it, Jonah! Jonah! Ah, there it is. That's about as far as you go. We only need to go four feet. You wanna do our amendments? Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't dig out that one good. Hold on, there's mulch on that one. Let's water the cucumbers. Got a couple watermelons we'll probably put in that row. You want to water them real good before you transfer them. Got the spades, got the plants. Now we need the tape. We just had it to measure this. Y'all ever do that? The main thing that's holding you up is looking for stuff. Maybe it got buried in this? Yep. Not in that. I give up. Been looking for it 20 minutes. Usually those things kind of show up. I guess I'll just do with this. We got those planted. Now, all we have is a couple more watermelons up. We do have a bunch of tomatoes coming. We gotta set up a whole nother gardening row. You guys gonna harvest some of those spinach? Yeah. Yeah, just, just pick it though, don't pull the plant, all right? This is our first veggie harvest, fellas. You think it's gonna frost anymore, Jonah? No. Technically, we have three days, it can still frost, but I think we're gonna be okay. Let's, let's pull up our Agrabon. Let's grab a corner and let's see how it's twisted. Pull out, pull out, no, pull out a little further. Hey, grab each, each corner. We folded that. Now let's get back to planting. We were this close to being done. Then I realized there was something off with the string. Jonah had moved it from here to here. Therefore, we planted a crooked tomato line. It's gonna interfere with our path over there, so we gotta just dig holes again. Oh, 
It's starting to get hot out here. We got that row in redone. And I'm over it. What, Julius? Are you over it? This is why you come out here early in the morning. Yeah, because it gets the heat. really hot. Yes. You don't want to move in the heat. The ki the birds don't want to move in the heat. Um, actually, they don't mind. I oh, really? Mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just found that when it's hot, I expend more effort, and I get cranky real quick. Is that true, Andrew? It's true. Andrew, you've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you. Oh, Come on, we're getting the truth over here. He likes to say, uh, as soon as it gets to a certain amount of, uh, of hot, he says, I think I'm over it. <laughs> that's, that's his saying? I think I'm over it. Okay, are we, gonna, are we gonna hear that today, or are we gonna get out of here before you're over it? Huh? Because we got another site to go to. Oh no, we know. better hustle. I know. I've been over it for a very long time. <laughs> I think we've come too much into the sun. Well, lunch, lunch will be ready soon. <laughs> he really wants to build that sheep shelter. I do too, but we have to get these veggies in the ground first. Oh look, a melon. We got one more thing there. There's a celery there I don't know what to do with. Beauty had to do that one. One more box. Oh, and more tomatoes. We've taken a break for lunch. Come back, it rained. It feels good out here now, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Cooled it off? Mom doesn't want the watermelon here. So we've got to pull up the watermelon. What about and the tomatoes? She wants the watermelon down in the crop garden. Yeah, what so about that one too. So we've only made two mistakes there. I thought the we tomatoes are good. I thought we made a mistake with the tomatoes. Well, we we didn't realize we had more tomatoes. Well, we can just put put them in here. Here, here put, that in this, put that in this. Yeah. Back in that, yeah, yeah. There you go. Look how deep that mulch is. Man, I'm bad for getting too much mulch. I always get too much mulch. Bad, and then bad. pay for it in the shoveling. But I don't know if you can, over long term, I don't know if you can get too much mulch. Yeah. It's all gonna turn into beautiful soil. Yeah. Let's dig the uh, pepper trench here. <music> Lily's planting the last of the peppers. Thank you, Lily. Boys have brought up the tomato steak. Now we got the peppers in. We got another project in here before we can go on to the shade structure. I don't know. It's it's like 4.23, we gotta stop at five, but maybe if we hustle, we can get this done by supper and then work on the shade mobile this evening. Do you guys know where our tent stakes are? I think. Okay, search for the tent stakes, quick. Where? Not in here. Y'all find them? No. Not here. There they are. Okay. Mom has a really fun idea for right here. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Let's go get the cattle panel. There. Here I go. Okay. Trying to help him. Now hold it right there. I saw plants, tomato plants specifically trellised on the farm tour. You cute it. Okay. So then I came up with the idea to trellis cucumbers. Does that make it weird or is it going straight up? Oh, it Hopefully, when they shade it out, I can plant lettuce in between underneath the canopy that is shading it so that my lettuce doesn't bolt. Jonah, get me the hammer and a and some steaks. You got this, Josie? I saw this out oh, you did. We'll see, though, how it works. We are done. This is going to be nice. Can walk through. We'll have our cucumbers growing up. On either side, they'll grow up. We'll train them to come up and out and above the thing. It'll create a shade here. And in the hotter times, we can plant things like lettuce that don't tolerate the heat because they'll have a shade. Can you take my hammer? Your hammer's right there, buddy. Mineral time, get in. Oh boy, you want to help. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, can you do that? Yeah. Wait on me, wait on me. I don't want it all dumped out. We've got our plants mineralized. It's time to eat, it's time for supper. I think all we have to do back here is just bring back mulch, tidy up, got more planting to do tomorrow, but then I think we can get, Jonah, then I think we can get on that shade mobile this evening. Evening time, feels so good out here. Yesterday, I was zapped, no energy. Today, this evening, 
Got the energy. Y'all hear that? Thunder. That'd be good. Water our newly planted plants. Oh, y'all didn't see this yet, have you? Looks good, right? Thanks, buddy. I have totally ran out of time to build a sheep shelter. I don't know when this, I guess day after tomorrow, because tomorrow we're gonna build a meat chick shaw. It's gonna blow up our little chicken, our meat chicken operation. I think I do have time. We only have like this week to put in beets and carrots. We had cover crop in here. We did go ahead and shallow hoed it, and we're gonna plant that into there. That's it for down here. We got the beet and the carrots planted. Things are jamming. Look at these potatoes. Before you go, I just want to say one more thing. This Premier One electric poultry net, I couldn't do what I'd do without it. I mean, look at this. We've guarded off the garden. The chickens prepped this garden. We moved the fence. It took probably less than 10 minutes. And they're still on this area, and eventually we'll move this out and plant in it. When the garden is done, We'll move the fence back in here, let the chickens back in. No wonder that is one of my five favorite tools coming into the 100 days of growing food. It's amazing and a must on this farm. I'm giving it away. I'm giving it away and several of my other favorite tools you have until May 9th, 10 p.m. to enter. Check it out, link in the description. Oh my, what are they up to now? You never know what they're up to. Wait, have y'all done this before? But never with two people. Okay. okay. Let me grab all okay. Hop in there. Wait. Pump. Get him in there. <laughs> okay. Now run. Run. So Get up and run. 